now you may have seen my last video where I did a mystery box tour, but it was more like a mystery box of my own stuff. Uh, for those of you who might not have seen that one, when I moved out of my parents' house six years ago, she uh, left a bunch of crap here. I just left a bunch of stuff in the closet. <laughs> things that I'd had packed up from college, from grad school, possibly even before college. Uh, and I've done, this is actually the third video like this I'll be doing. I did a video a couple months ago, and then I did one, I think, like, last week or two. Uh, where I may have said that I was going over two boxes. But then I realized that it was going to run really long. And I saved that second box for now. And I hope you guys are just as excited to see what's in this one. Uh, it doesn't look like there's as much, but there's some definite interesting stuff because the first thing in here is a brownie Girl Scout, like brownie beanie thing. Oh, um, wow. I never actually had this. This was not something that I ever actually had. Where did this it was, come from? This was purchased when I was a Daisy Girl Scout leader to show the girls who would be flying up uh, what the brownie outfit looked like and what was an option for them and this hat just happened to be one of them. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> leave it on for this whole video because it's very funny. So next up, and this is gonna be really funny because I'm just gonna play like decorator crab right now. Yes! Oh no! Oh, oh no. well, it's damaged. It's okay, so am I. So this right here was my midterm fairy tiara. Oh, that's a special, like, item. So this was, I'm actually, goodbye brownie, I'm, I'm the midterm fairy again. So when I was in high school, um, this is a really weird story that I don't think I've ever told on this channel before. When I was in high school, uh, I used to wear a tiara during midterms and finals, and I called myself, like, the midterm fairy or you the final fairy. You also wore wings. I didn't get the wings until my senior year. Yeah, well. Um, but I would go around giving, I had, like, a little magic wand, and I would go around, like, giving people blessings so that they would do well on their exams. And it was just something silly that I did, and I'm pretty sure that the year after I left, uh, a friend of mine who I'd been in classes with, she mm -hmm. was a freshman when I was a senior, uh, she actually picked up the mantle of the midterm fairy. And as far as I can tell, uh, I really hope, I hope that there is still a midterm fairy going around the halls of my old high school, giving kids good luck when they need it on finals. I would love that. I hope that that's something that continues that to would happen. Be such a, like, the fact that even one person picked up to do it the next yeah. year means that it meant something to people. So, I've, I almost, I think I actually have a picture of me in the midterm fairy outfit. Uh, and if I do, I will pop it in. But it was got basically it just like me wearing my regular clothes, but I had a tiara and a magic wand and wings. And it was just something, something silly that I did, but it meant a lot to people and it meant a lot to me. So I'm actually really happy I still have this. I don't think I have, the wand ended up snapping. Uh, the little, it was like a little star-shaped wand and a mm -hmm. star popped off the top and I remember like taping it back together at one year. Uh, and the wings disintegrated. Those, those I don't have anymore. I bought those at an old costume shop that doesn't exist oh, anymore either. Oh, R.I.P. Tribals yeah. and Treasures. Also in this box, my favorite dinosaur is actually, I have my name on the foot. Um, but this is a Styracosaurus. This is, I have had this since like childhood, since early childhood. This is probably 30 years old at this point. I still have my entire collection of the others. Do you yeah. still have the Triceratops? No, the Triceratops, this is the only one I have. The only one I have is the Styracosaurus. All the rest were yours. But it says copyright 1985. So this was a little older than me. And I just, I love dinosaurs. And this was my I favorite dinosaur. I was under dinosaur. the impression that the Triceratops and Styracosaurus Oh, you know what? Yours. I did have this Triceratops. I don't know what happened to that. It was, yeah, I'm sorry. I, it was I thought you said Stegosaurus. No, I have that. Yeah. I have the Brachiosaurus. Yeah. I have the Brontosaurus. The Triceratops. And the T-Rex, even though he's got nail polish on his back. The Triceratops might be somewhere. But Styracosaurus was, is, and forever will be my favorite dinosaur. If anybody, more people need to talk about what their favorite dinosaurs are. I'm just saying. More people need to talk about their favorite dinosaurs. I and like dolls. all of the ones that do biting. Um. Oh boy. Okay. <gasps> this is a. <laughs> this is a viewfinder keychain, and it still has the reel, and it is sea creatures. Ah. Oh. 
That's so cool. I, I wish we had all of our old keychains, because there were yeah, a I lot have... of, like, toy and game Yeah, I rings. actually used to have a lot of key rings like this. A lot of, like, the board game ones that had little magnetic pieces on the inside. Or, like, um, little, they were miniature functional versions Yeah, of and stuff. they were really, I think they were made by Basic Fun. I don't know if that company still exists, but that name stands out in my mind, because I remember just, like... You would get, like, a little flyer inside to show you all the different kinds they had. They also remember, made, like, the Ubi squeeze Yeah, things. I remember being super excited whenever I would find one of these. And there was a store called Polka Dots that we used to get these at. Oh, uh, Polka Dots place. ruled. You could also get, like, Beanie Babies. Back when you could only get Beanie Babies oh. at, like, oh. gift shops. This is a super dead bouncy ball. Oh. It is rock hard. I am not even going to test this. Hey, can you knock it on the table so we can hear it? Oh, Jesus Marie. Okay. Um, oh, and this right here, this is, I know that there's a way to like refill a bunch of these. I don't remember the story of this, but this is a snow globe that was given to me as a little kid, a little girl, and it's got a little panda wearing skis and a little winter hat, and it says, you're very special. It's cute. It's very cute, and I'm very special. You are. And well, here is a rock. Wow. That, um, this might be a master's thesis rock, actually. Uh. Really? Yeah. Really. Is that how you're going to figure out where it's from? <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty Geology sure. Geology in action. <laughs> yeah. Um, geologists lick rocks all the time. I'm pretty sure that this is actually just something that I did my master's thesis on. I would say that this is a piece of granitic gneiss. Uh, if it isn't, it's very similar to one. I don't have the tools to do an examination on it. Like, I can't power it and run it through the x-ray diffractor anymore. But I'm pretty sure that this is a weathered piece of rock that I had done my master's thesis on. Because what I had to do was I had to cut the rock to expose an unaged surface. Uh, because finding a rock like this the outside has been weathered to a different extent than the inside. So it's more difficult to age the rock in that sense. Um, but that's that's my best estimate as to what this is and why I would have held on to it. But now it's more Pokemon time because of course I have Pokemon. Which is this one? This is... Zaycrom. Yeah, because Reshiram's, yeah, Reshiram's little... the white one. Zaycrom's the black one. I used to one. keep him in a little doll vest. Um, so this is Reshiram. This is Zaycrom. Um, I don't think I had Zaycrom. I think I had Russian Ram. Yeah, I you did. That one, that's technically mine. Oh, is it? Yeah. No. It's okay, because you had a lot of Man, he's here. weird looking. I don't think I ever actually gave Russian Ram and Zaycrom a good, like, look Russian Ram's got, like, a dog face. I'm excited for these guys to pop up in Pokemon Go, because right now we're doing, like, Kabalian as the raid raid boss. So I'm assuming we're going to be getting the, uh, the rest of the, um... Yeah, we will. The Cavalier Trio? Is that what they're called? Mm, I don't know. Musketeers. I call them, musketeers. I call them the cell phone trio because... <gasps> Is that a little that big? Yeah. I call them the cell phone trio because I named my Verizon Verizon and then the other two were like AT&T and Singular. Um, AT&T and Singular are the same company. Yes. I know. Okay, so the batteries are dead in this bad boy. And he was a little Oinko who lit well, up. He also, yep, so this is Tepic. Um, this is another Pokemon Gen 5. This was a Happy Meal toy. Yeah, well, uh, so was along that. With, yeah, along with Raycom and also um, Zerua. I don't know what Zerua's like, special... They all had like a little thing they did. Yeah, I don't remember what Zerua did. And also, Zoroark. I can't believe I actually have Zorua and Zoro. I can't believe they're Man. so off scale. Yeah. Zoro, I don't... Why, why did everybody love Zoroark? Is it because of furries? Because furries. Because furries. I didn't really particularly care It's the for same Zoroark. people who liked um, Lucario. Okay. I'm going to go through some more weird stuff. Oh, no. You don't have more lotion. Birds, bees, peppermint foot lotion? Gross. Just don't Gross. even I'm open that. I'm not even that. open that one. Uh, this is some black and white gingham. Is this gingham? Yeah. Gingham ribbon? I don't know why I have this. I think I got this to maybe be like laces and a pair of shoes I had at some that point. That sounds about right. Um, but it wouldn't work. Oh, this is, <laughs> oh man, this is an emery board advertising the Women's Exercise Center Curves. Do they still have those? I don't think those exist anymore. Uh, but Curves was a, uh, 
weight loss and exercise like gym kind of thing. Yeah, it was geared more toward like older women. Yeah, older and larger women. Yeah. So that you wouldn't be intimidated. Gym intimidation. Here's another gross thing I'm opening. This is some ba- Body Shop Born Lippy Lip Shimmer. Oh, do not put that anywhere near your face. Actually, it smells fine. Um, it feels terrible, but it smells fine. Whoa. This is Satsuma, which was my favorite of the Body Shop scents. You had a lot of set. You had like somebody a whole bought set. me a gift set, I think or I bought myself a gift set. Sure I don't got remember. something from Goody, and then you bought the rest. True. Ooh, hey, here's some more ancient, more ancient makeup. This is like eyebrow filling pencil. This has got to be 15 years old. That's probably older. Ugh. I definitely have had that since high school. You probably had that since like seventh grade. This is a guitar pick. I don't remember where this is from. I definitely caught it at a show. I don't remember what show it was. It may have been, if I'm remembering correctly, I may have picked this up at a cartel show. So I visited a friend of mine when I was a junior in college. Uh, She went to school down in Virginia and we went to a neighboring college of hers to go see cartel. Uh, which I liked. And this was like before the whole band in a bubble thing, which that was, anybody remember that? Anybody? I do. I was just remembering it and going, Um, I hope she mentions it so I can say how weird it was. It was really weird. Uh, they basically wrote like their entire second album on an MTV reality show where they were like living in a bubble. Literally in like a bubble around a house. It was weird. It was really weird. But, um... I went to the show, and it was good, they were good, and somebody decided to be a real a-hole and just pitch one of those, like, skateboard sneakers, and I'm not talking like a Converse or a Vans, I'm talking like the Osiris kind of shoes, like the big, thick, heavy jerks, like those really big, dense shoes, and it just pitched me and clocked me straight on the head, and I saw stars, I was, like, I almost went down. Uh, but at the end of the set, we were all kind of like hanging around hoping they would come out and do an encore. And they couldn't do an encore because it was a college show. Uh, and some like, I guess it was like a custodian or something was going around like picking up the the stuff on the stage. And like, oh, does anybody want the, uh, the set list? And I'm like, I got hit in the head with a shoe. Can I have it? And he goes, yeah. And he just gave it to me. Uh, I may still have that somewhere. That might be in the accordion folder. I was going to say, that's probably in a folder because yeah. I immediately look over at your desk. Cause yeah, because I had on... it tacked to my wall for it was... a very long <laughs> yeah, time. I immediately looked over. like. But that was an interesting speed. point in my life. Um, oh, here are the missing gems from my tiara. So this is... Oh, this is a little... Um, a little alien. Yeah, this is a little glow-in-the-dark alien figure. I'm pretty sure I got this from a vending machine. Uh, this is like very chic right now. Like, the whole alien look is really, like, a thing and I don't understand. Oh, it's because we'd all like to leave Earth really badly. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, fair. This, I'm pretty sure, is a My Little Pony brush. It absolutely is. From Gen 4. Or, is that what they call it? Yeah, Gen 4. 4. That's what that was. This is another rock. This is not part of my master's thesis and I ain't gonna lick it. I'm pretty sure it's just a basalt. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that that was from our driveway before we got our driveway paved. That's true, it could be. And you probably kept it because it was <coughs> a piece of the old driveway. Um, so that sounds like some... This is... Wormy! This is a Girl Scout inchworm of service. And this technically should go on my Girl Scout vest for my... It's like my final patch. But I never put it on. I never had my, because my mom used to sew all my patches on because I never learned how to sew like that for a long time. Um, but my mom used to sew all the patches on and I'm pretty sure what happened when I when I left Girl Scouts uh, is that my Girl Scout leader gave us the final patches and because our troop dissolved, we didn't pass the name on to anybody. Uh, they emptied the treasury and gave us each, because there were three of us left, gave us a third of the money for a uh, college uh, scholarship because we, it just accrued money over the years and we used a lot of it, but the, the troop dissolved. It wasn't being passed on to anybody. So they were just like, let's give it to the girls. We'll actually use it. Yeah. Um, and so this is my final angel room of service for my final year as a senior back in 2004. Cause I got my gold award in 2002, but I didn't stop scouting after that. Like we still did scout stuff. And finally, I've been waiting to show this guy off to all y'all. 
It's the Juggernaut, bitch! Oh, does he still work? This would be an interesting figure. That ever did anything? Yeah, he's got like a... a th something on the back that like presses in. Does he move his hand? Oh, yeah, he like yeah. goes... Uh, 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 with his... Yeah. Like he like... Uh, uh, uh. Wow, he can barely move. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, this was from one of those X-Men, uh, the movies. Uh, so one of the earliest memes I remember was uh, somebody had taken, this is when I was in college, somebody had taken video clips from the old X-Men Saturday, Saturday morning cartoon. Now when you say college, you mean <coughs> undergrad. Yeah, this is undergrad. So that's between 2004 and 2008. Yes. Uh, so it's not like the earliest memes. It's not like ye old dancing baby or whatever, or hamster dance. Uh, but this is still pretty old in the scheme of memes. Uh, but somebody had taken a bunch of clips of the old uh, Saturday morning X-Men cartoon and edited it to be just the Juggernaut being a real stompy asshole. Yeah, uh, it he, does like, not hold up. It doesn't hold up. But the meme ended up being used oh, in God, the movie. He looks like a real fugly Thanos. Without the helmet on. The the meme uh, grew in popularity, yep. so, so they did actually So it actually landed use... in, uh, I don't remember if it was the first or, no, it would have been the second or third X-Men movie, uh, but there should be a line where he goes, I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Um, I, I don't recommend looking this meme up. If you want to, maybe look it up on, like, Know Your Meme, because it's just, like, history, but it's not... Uh, yeah, the second part of the sentence that follows that yeah. is abominable. Yeah. So um, so I ended up with a Juggernaut action figure, and he went with my uh, Omega Red from the last episode. Um, they're probably dating or something. Yeah, probably. I don't know. They match. They do match. But that is it for this box. Wow, what a trip down memory lane. There's just so much stuff, and I still have so much more stuff. So if you're liking these and you'd like to see more, do let me know in the comments down below. I think we've got, like, at least three more boxes. But anyway, um, we still have a couple of other boxes that we want to dig through, see what's in there, see what it's all about. Uh, so if you're enjoying this, do let me know. If you are enjoying this and would like to stick around to see more, hit that little subscribe button. I upload twice a week, and we do... All kinds of stuff around here. We do nostalgia videos. We do like taste tests. We do uh, field trips. We do whatever this is. We do all kinds of stuff and we have fun. My social media links are in the description below. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that little subscribe button. Click the little bell because if you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Likes and comments. Let me know to keep doing what I'm doing and I'll see you in the next video. Later.